previously on Underexposed. Small things sent in by Matt Fallon. The Dawn of Evil by Paul Silvani. X sent in by Julie Kalkef. Crouching Idiot Hidden Moron produced by Lillian Yao. Instinct Entertainment short film The Upstairs Neighbour. And finally, SMS by Chris Kazellos. I'm Naomi Davis. Welcome to the second instalment of Underexposed, the short film show where we expose them. We're up for the challenge. We'll bring it. Screening tonight on Underexposed, Sarah's Jihad by filmmaker Zev Howley. The Angry Penguin, sent in by Tom Vogel. Simon Ryan's Another Shot. And Car Boot. Written and produced by Daniel Peterson. Sarah's Jihad is documentary filmmaker Zeb Howley's first short film. He produced and directed the film and wrote the script with Michael Griffiths and Gaylene Garby. Sarah's G had has screamed at Melbourne Underground Film Festival, Electric Shorts, West Side Shorts and several other film nights. This film confronts racism and portrays the tensions that face two teenage girls as they struggle to come to terms with conflicting values and influences post 9-11. Fuck it. Let's go to the mall. Scrag? Huh? Check out your neck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's huge. Uh, <laughs> he didn't bite you, he branded you. <laughs> It was a big night, you know? Hmm. I won't be seeing him for a while. He's going to Sydney. That's it. I'm not going anywhere. You have to go by yourself. No way, you promised. Hey, wait a minute. Remember this? Yeah, go and wear it. The blood's still stiff. Wear it with pride. Look, Tanya. Another bloody raghead. Fucking terrorists. Let's go say hello. Are you 
Dip, call an ambulance. I'll be there soon. Bye. So, thanks. It was nice what you did. Coming here and... Yeah. It was nothing. Anyone would have done the same. I was just lucky that I was off to my class. Really? Near my place? What class? Don't laugh. I'm attempting to learn jazz ballet. No way. That's, that's what I do. I used to. I even taught a few classes. Really? Huh? Well, do you think he could teach me? I desperately need help. I could pay you. I, I couldn't afford much, but something. Here's my mobile number. You want me to teach you? I'm sorry. That was rude, wasn't it? I, I get excited. It's a bad habit of mine. I should never have said anything. I've got to go. Bye. Yeah, bye. You know, Sarah and I are big into princess. Well, this is my father and my uncle. Hello. Wow. You look so... Different? Normal. What? So before I looked abnormal? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm teasing you. <laughs> Let me show you what I've learned. She's friend. I'm not happy. <laughs> don't worry about it. What is this to mark on her neck? Huh? Oh, I don't know. Don't worry. I don't like this girl. Look, she needs more Australian friends, okay? I have my doubts. Huh? Do you know what an arabesque is? No. Stand on your left hand. Put your right one out behind you. Step up. Mm -hmm. And left. And up. And around.
have that leg come in, in front of you, take it around. Cold. It's a hijab. Here, let me help. There you go. Yeah. I want to see. Yeah. Why do you wear this? Because I want to. I choose to. Why do you wear this? Hmm? What is this? Did you wear it here on purpose? No, it's just a bandana. A bandana covered in blood. Last year I spent six months in Jerusalem. I saw a lot of holy symbols. And a lot of blood. Did you cut yourself? No. Then what happened? My boyfriend wore it. In the... Cronulla riots. So this is Muslim blood. And you wore it here. Like a trophy. Why? To hide a love bite. I think maybe you should leave. I'm sorry, you know. I just didn't think. You're an Australian. You have that privilege. Privilege? You started it. You guys beat up those lifesavers. You just don't get it, do you? Well, at least we don't fly planes into buildings. Goodbye, Sarah. Where's Sarah? Sarah? Um, she's, she's not here. And, um, um, can I hear? Hang on, hang on. Ah, where's she? Sachika, uh, uh. Oh, okay. Bloody Asians. Ah, oh, stop. Everywhere. Sanju, uh, uh, uh. Take it out of your life, I'll go. Don't get here. That's what I'm going to do. I don't want to do it. 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 Blood still stiff. 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 Blood still
Don't worry. There's no blood on it. It's new. It's yours. Let's start again. Not bad. For an Australian. That was Zev Howley's film, Sarah's Jihad. Still to come later in the show, another shot, and
and car boot. After the break, more short entertainment with the Angry Penguin. Exposed. We're about halfway through the show and things are bound to get crazy. A talking plastic penguin? But that is simply absurd. Short film The Angry Penguin is written by Joel Bordini and stars Sophie Angel and John King. This film has screened at the Transport and the Trasharama Film Festivals and the Melbourne Underground Film Festival. The Angry Penguin spurned filmmaker Tom Vogel to start the Angry Film Festival. And watch out for my cameo at the end. I twist away, no walk away. Can't you hear me? What's You okay there, buddy? Right. Look at the poor little guy! Come here, let's get you home and cleaned up! Babe, I don't know about this. What about his family? Like, what's the thing? He's a penguin. He's obviously been abused. We can't just leave him here. Well, he's they live in the wild. Like, come on. That's, I wish that I had duck feet. No more shoes. No shoes for me. The man down at the shoe store would not have my size, you see. If I had two duck feet, I would laugh at Big Bill Brown. I would say, you don't have duck feet. These are all there are in town. That's Big Bill Brown. Yeah! Walking around, just about your 
He's a penguin. He's also the nicest penguin I've ever met. I mean, <laughs> what on earth makes you think he's evil? Well, to start with, he pisses on the floor. He took photos of me in the shower. He's a bad influence on you, keeping you at the pub till all hours of the morning. He let down the tyres on my car. He shat in my shoes. He turns around street signs. He put Dettol in my mouthwash. And one time, so you're doing drugs on the street. <laughs> dealing drugs, are you serious? Peng wouldn't do a thing like that. He wouldn't have anything to do with drugs. Huh? <laughs> She's pretty pissed with you, mate. You better do something nice for her. Hey, um, you wouldn't do drugs, would you? Possibly be evil. He's cooking his dinner. Huh? How many evil penguins do you know cook your dinner? Huh? My goldfish! You bastard! Get out of our house and never come near us ever again!
That was The Angry Penguin. Thanks to Tom Vogel for that. More Underexposed coming up. Later, Daniel Peterson's film Car Boot. And right now, another shot. Starring Peter Flaherty as Troubled Mick and Brett Bishop as John. This film was written, directed and produced by Simon Ryan. Simon passed away tragically in a car crash in 2009, aged only 26. This screening is a tribute to Simon as a tremendously talented filmmaker. Thank you to Simon's dad, Alan Ryan, for contributing this film on his behalf. It was made for Tropfest and explores family and mateship. Simon Ryan's Another Shot. Thanks, mate. Jeez. Is any movement yet? No, nothing yet. Looks like it's going to be another long night. They're all long nights. It's days that'll kill you. <laughs> I had to show you this. I've got one like that too. Yeah, it is pretty good. Anyway, uh, did I tell you I'm leaving Jenny and the girls? Jeez, mate. What for? No, oh, it's this whole goddamn messed up thing. I've been caught cheating, mate. It's just that, I, I, I mean, I could just easily deny it and all, but I'm just going to go quietly and uh, make it as easy as possible for the kids. Yeah. I suppose it's best. Just for the kids. What's wrong, mate? <sighs> Too many times I've seen it, John. Too many times. Guy gets caught fooling around and his wife kicks him out. Now he's got nothing to live for. And he wastes away inside. As if he's already dead. Life's just got one more trick left up its sleeve, though, mate. Time. And all the while, he, he sits, sending his life down the toilet. Sitting in bars and working for no one when he comes home. Not knowing if his kids are growing up right or... doing their homework or, or even thinking about him. His kids grow up not knowing him. And instead... They find someone else to call daddy. <laughs> and all he does is rot it away in, in this life he's made for himself. <sighs> this hellhole of sadness and loneliness, of, of which there's only one cure and it ain't no pretty picture either. No one's there for you in the end. And it's all because you made a stupid mistake. One night too many and you... You weren't man enough to say you were sorry. <laughs> to say I'm sorry. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry I had to be me. Sorry I had to go and throw away the best damn thing I ever had. I cheated on her, John. 
I cheated on her again and again and again. And then I'd come home and, and I'd get mad with her because she didn't understand me anymore. I said I loved her. I said I loved her. Tomorrow, I'm going to walk into Jen's work, right up to her, and get down on one knee and beg. I beg her to take me back. I'm going to have a family. I'm going to live the rest of my life with my wife by my side, till the day I die. It's what we said. It's what I'll do. Until I die. Here's the starting again, mate. Yeah. Time's now. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Underexposed. The next film up tonight is written and produced by Daniel Peterson of True Blue Films and directed by Stephen Sheldon. Here's Carboot.
I've been stressing. Yeah? What about? Uh, asking you out for tonight. What? Full child. Why am I a full child? Oh, come on. <laughs> Seriously, look at you. You're an awesome girl. You're a good-looking girl. I mean, how can one casual guy who I just see at the bus stop every, like, morning, purely out of coincidence, um, <laughs> come here after you just randomly and ask you out on a date? Well, what time's dinner? Dinner? Mm-hmm. There's dinner involved now? Yep. Well, what time do you get hungry? Um, about six. Then done. We should have dinner at six. How do I know I'm going to say it tonight? Um, because I promise. No, I'm going to need a little possession of yours. So that way, I'm sure that you'll come and see me tonight. Because if you want it back, you're going to have to come see me tonight. If you don't see me tonight... You can have my hanky. Thanks. See, now you definitely know that I'm going to come and see you tonight. Thank you. Prize possession. I want to do something. I can't dump the body. Move the car. No way the fuckers can't get her. Fuck. I can't believe this shit. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it, I'll move the car. What am I doing? Fuck! Should I take it to the police? Should I just fuck off? Poor girl. Poor fucking girl. What am I doing? I'm gonna get done for this. This is so fucking stupid. Fuck it. Please state your emergency, please. Sorry? Please fire ambulance. Um. Please state your emergency, please. I found a dead body. Okay, what's your location? Car, car park on, on, on Bay Street. Just stay with the car, sir. We'll be with you shortly. Okay, sir, can I please have your name, please? Look, just send the fucking police.
And that was Car Boot, sent in by filmmaker Daniel Peterson. Thanks, Daniel. Let's take a look at what we have for you next time on Underexposed. The Inquisition, sent in by Melvin J. Montalban. No, no, not currently. Saucer, by Gary Mars and Lachlan Ingemels of Seamless Pictures. The Upsell, by feature filmmaker Nathan Hill. Looters, from London's Aaron Kumar. Is it still available? And Future Phone Call by Fabian Lapan. Thanks for tuning in to Underexposed. We couldn't do it without you very, very fine viewers. I'm Naomi Davis. See you next time. <laughs>